The story of K-pop idols who almost debuted with a girl group is not new. Before joining Girls' Planet 999, Kim Chae Yoon was already known as a former SM trainee and had a long time practicing with the current AESPA members. She was also said to be included in the new SM girl group's debut lineup before AESPA was announced. Since her appearance on Girls Planet 999 until now, Cheyenne has repeatedly reached the top trends on online forums in Korea when many people commented that she has the typical SM visuals. Although they could not debut together, according to Kim Cheyenne, she still received warm support from AESPA members for her debut with Kepler. Cheyenne shared this information during the group's debut showcase. AESPA's Sunbainims contacted and congratulated me. They even mentioned that now we can meet at the broadcast station and let's meet in the waiting room. They are very busy at the moment, so we haven't seen each other for a long time. I hope we can meet each other very soon. In a similar fashion, another Kepler member was also a famous trainee from a big three company. Sakamoto Mashiro, the co-leader of Kepler, was very popular before debuting with the group. Even before joining Girls Planet 999, the Japanese idol used to be a trainee at JYP for two years and was famous for her sweet and pretty visuals. At that time, Mashiro was one of the main candidates for ITZY's lineup, having a lot of training time with a famous girl group. However, luck was not on Mashiro's side when she was not chosen to debut in ITZY and then left JYP. After months of ups and downs, Mashiro finally secured the number 8 spot in the latest episode of Girls Planet 999 and officially debuted with Kepler. Even so, the tie with JYP will always be one of the things that the public remembers about Mashiro. Of course, someone will intentionally bring up this story to question the female idol. On January 9, three Kepler members, Kang Yeso, Mashiro, and Choi Jin, appeared on Cult 2 Show. During the chat, a program host received backlash for asking insensitive questions regarding Itzy's debut with Mashiro. Specifically, this host asked Mashiro, Did you train with Itzy? And Mashiro said yes. The host further clarified, Are you trained at JYP Entertainment? And she also confirmed this once again. Then the host went straight to the point. You must have felt a bit sad when they debuted, right? To this, Mashiro replied, we practiced together when the announcements arrived. It was a bit difficult for me, but we have a good relationship and always support each other. The problem occurred when the host still hasn't let go of Mashiro. He continued, Itzy's debut song, Dala Dala, was very successful, right? Honestly, are you jealous of them? Then the former JYP trainee replied, I feel a little jealous and happy at the same time. I was very happy for them. When I was confirmed to debut, they called me. We met once on a music show while filming Girls Planet. The Idzi members kept saying, Uni, fighting, and they cheered me on a lot. After the video was shared, many fans complained to the host about his insensitive questions to Mashiro, even asking if she was envious with her friends. Many also pointed out the problem with this interview. When Mashiro was interrogated because of her past relationship with Idzi, neither Kang Yeso nor Cho Yejin were questioned about their previous groups. Fans also praised Mashiro for answering questions in a professional manner during the talk. So, what do you think about the situation? Would you like to see the Kepler member with their previous label mates on stage? Let us know in the comment section. Until next time!